I was out of town when MP Peter Goldring was acquitted of failing to provide a breath sample, and you've been calling to ask when I'm going to comment, so let's catch up. I watched his career and interviewed him over the years several times about some of the great things he did, covering a wide scope from veterans to affordable housing to Haiti. When he was arrested for not providing a breath sample, and he talked about it being a case of citizens' rights, quite frankly, I doubted he could win this, but he did. One caller told me, Bob, this is just a case of a politician getting off. I don't think judges are impressed by one station in life. I've not seen this defense before. The judge even mentioned that this acquittal should not be used as a precedent. Now, it's pretty hard for me to think that it wouldn't be because lawyers and judges depend on precedents. I wonder what police plan to do when the next driver just wants to talk rather than blow. Will they have a limit on the number of questions or what questions they will answer or will they answer any questions at all? How do you think police should handle it? Oh, and Edmonton East, is all forgiven? Let me know. I'm Bob Layton.